Good day, First Institutional. These are your announcements for Sunday, March 9th, 2014. Get ready to have an irresistible workshop. Our annual Worship Ministries Conference is April 28th and 29th. Workshop classes will be offered for all the worship ministries and even include some fun extras. Registration is just $10 and you can pay online. All you have to do is log on to www.fibcaz.org and click on the Worship Conference link. For more information, see Sister Brenda Hankins or Dr. Peter Ward. Food, fun, fellowship, a little catfish, and even some brisket. Yes, it's that time of year. Get your mouths ready for the annual Pastor's Aid Fish Fry Fundraiser. Advanced ticket purchases start this Sunday following service for just $12, and plates will be handed out on March 30th. You can purchase your ticket today at the table outside the sanctuary. Get ready for our next round of practical leadership lesson training. This Wednesday, we will dive into Christian leadership by John Stott. You can purchase the book in Miss Jessie's place for just $5 or download the ebook for $3.99 by going to our website and clicking on the link. Lessons will also be made available weekly, so we look forward to seeing you at Noonday Bible Study or Prayer Worship and the Word on Wednesdays. And speaking of Wednesday, we want you to join us for prayer and fasting starting at 5 a.m. Our prayer ministry will be waiting for you to pick up the phone and call 218-862-6420 using the access code 499-4732. And don't forget, pre-noon day prayer starts at 1130. Prayer worship and the word on Wednesdays is at 630. There's still time to get involved in the planning of our Easter egg extravaganza. This year, we're hosting three separate Easter egg hunts in three parts of the valley. Volunteers are still needed in the east, south, and west. So contact the Reverend Karen E. Stewart for more information. And if you can't volunteer, consider making a donation. We're in need of plastic eggs, candy, pre-stuffed eggs, and items for golden eggs. All you have to do is bring them to the lower narthex or lobby. And if you'd like to make a financial donation, please mark it on your offering envelope. And thank you for helping bring salt and light to the valley this Easter. We're also having an Easter play this Resurrection Sunday. Never Be the Same is an original production by Sister Stacy Callahan, and we need actors, stagehands, set designers, and costume designers. Please take a moment to look at the insert in your bulletin, and if you're interested, fill it out and hand it to an usher. Rehearsals start on Sunday, March 23rd. Calling all scouts, calling all scouts. If you have a young girl who's a Girl Scout, make sure to bring her to service next Sunday, March 16th, as we celebrate Girl Scout Sunday. We want to recognize all of our young ladies involved in this great organization and be sure to wear your uniform. Attention all men, the monthly men's fellowship breakfast will take place on Sunday, March 23rd at 9.30 in the fellowship hall. This event is normally held on the first Saturday, but this month we're moving it to Sunday. So come out, enjoy a hot breakfast and good word. For more information, see a men's ministry leader. Don't forget about our new CSI course offerings. There's something new and interesting for everyone. Sister Wileen Bridgman is teaching a spiritual emancipation class in the body building, room 208. Come get the tools you'll need for overcoming life's tough problems. You can also dive into world religions with Dr. Peter Ward. This class is held in the Hope Center, room 214, and covers all of the world religions from a Christian perspective. There's also a special class on prayer with Brother Dwayne Pfeiffer and Evangelist Lorraine Williams. It's held in the Hope Center, room 217. And if you're looking for some financial peace, consider Financial Peace University, now being taught on Saturdays at 11 a.m. You can get more information on these course offerings online or by contacting the Reverend Lanita Smart Wade. Don't forget, we're checking the heart rate of FIBC this spring. Our church checkup is Wednesday, April 2nd, and you have a new question in your bulletin. Remember, each week you'll get something new. Bring them all to the April 2nd meeting for a chance to win a prize. And if you're visiting First Institutional for the first time today, please let us know. Stop by the Welcome Center in the Lower Narthex. Say hi to one of our greeters. We have something special just for you. And members, don't forget, if you've recently moved, changed your telephone number or email address, please take a moment to complete the form in your bulletin and hand it to an usher. First Institutional, these are your announcements for the week. Have a blessed day.